Hi guys, this is Sprite. I'm the graphic artist at Condé Systems and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a power clip object using our product templates in CorelDRAW. So the first thing that you want to do is download a product template from our website. Today we're going to be using the heart shaped mouse pad. So we come into our product page and on the bottom we have a bunch of different tabs that are related to the product. So we want to use the template tab click on the template tab and then you want to click on download now make sure that you are logged into your shopping cart so you click on download now and it's going to download a zipped file of the product template so click on it then you need to extract that zipped file I like to keep all of my templates in one certain place so I've created a template folder on my desktop so in order to get the extracted files into that folder I need to select a destination by clicking on browse and then clicking on my templates folder and then clicking OK click extract and that will bring your template into your template folder double click on the file and today we are working in Corel Draw, so we're going to work with our CDR file so just double click on your CDR file and that will open the product template up in Corel so here you see we have the outline of our mouse pad and this is with a good bleed area so you have enough room to fit your image on your mouse pad so now we want to import and photograph to place on our mouse pad to do that we go to file and import you can also use control and I we find a nice image that we're going to use click on import and then drop it into our page and as you see here it is sitting on top of our template and I want to be able to see the boundaries of our template to make sure that I fit everything where I want it to go so there's two ways that I can bring this template above my image you can if you have your object manager open you can click on the curve and drag it above your photograph and that's going to bring it to the top or you can also hit shift where well, you want to make sure that your product template is selected then hit shift and page up shift and page up or page down is going to bring your items either up or down a level depending on what you want to do so once we have that done we want to fit our image into our template so as you see here I have a little bit of a white space so what I want to do is make my image a little bit bigger so click on the image and then just drag it center it and now we're ready to power clip it into our template in order to do that all we do is just right click on our image click on power clip inside and then this big arrow is going to come up so you just click on the outer edges of your template and it power clips it into your frame which is going to eliminate all of that excess which will save you down the road on ink costs and waste so once we have power clipped into our product template we have a few options down here where we can edit our power clipped select all of the contents we can extract them so bring them out of the frame or we can lock them where we can no longer edit them so just to show we're going to edit it a little bit and when you click on edit it expands everything out of your template area and then you can click on it and you can do whatever you'd like maybe make it a little bit bigger center it up a little bit more and you can see here the very faint lines of our product template area and once we're done we just want to hit stop editing and that will lock it back into the frame so now we're ready to print and press I hope you guys have learned something today I hope this video was uh, very helpful to you thank you for watching and happily happy sublimating